What's up guys, this is Share talking, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna showcase a strategy for Wasteland's War Bertrand 5. Well, we did this before with a full evasion squad, uh, it was quite some time ago, but this time I wanna showcase a very interesting character that we just got at the game, I summoned it for, because I can see the potential for hard fights in the future. And that one is Time. Well, Time makes a lot of difference here because he can heal on overdrive, we do need plenty of heals, and he can also buff all defensive status. Those will help a lot. Uh, he's not that fast here to guarantee that his guard up will be used before the enemy attacks, so it's not full potential for this. But this helps when fighting against enemies that inflicts ailments. And when you are on overdrive, it gets to overdrive pretty fast. You can heal. You can either use Uncle Taco to box or a normal attack in order to heal. This was kind of hard. You can use different formations for this, but I decided upon using the Rising Phoenix X. And I will explain why. This formation gives you 50% increase to all will, all characters. It also reduces damage taken to slot number one. That means that if you place a tank there, it will receive less damage, it already buffs endurance as well. And, well, my tank is Rag Robin, the best tank in the game, uh, because he um, is very defensive, he has a damage passive, he counters, he heals, very strong. Also, every time that he gets hit and counters, he buffs his will to not get inflicted with ailments. Uh, I even give him the Proof of War Tower to receive a little less damage because he's weak to blunt and that could be a problem. Many enemies attack with nukes that are blunt based. So, uh, the characters that I brought here, besides Time and Polka, were Mantrock because, of course, she's just so helpful. In this case, I do believe that this Mantrock is better than the newest because of being enough protection, being useful when you get close to the end. And then we have Leon as our main damage dealer. It does not need to be Leon. I know that Shizzer also works, but here I was using a squad that does not heal with revive. So I was already on risk. So why not bring the strongest damage dealer or something like this? And the other one was a buffer. Now I was dark. It does not need to be now dark. It can also be Diana because I still needed even more buffs, especially will related because there is a stage number eight and also stage number 6, where the enemies try to inflict ailments and they have insane status. So, I prefer to have 3 buffers. Uh, my Nawazdor also gives plus 1 BP, this kind of helps with the team, and she barely does any damage. Okay, so I place in Matriarch in the front because she has a little better endurance and will than Nawal's daughter. Time also is a good character to get hit here and there because it just builds up even more of his OD Gange in order to use Overdrive. So, Leon is the main damage dealer, but sometimes even Polka does a lot. And let me showcase all the different equipments that I use here. I try to fix the problems the characters have. Like, well, he's still pretty weak to pierce, so I equip the boots to increase that. Uh, the damage from the weapon does not matter. Then we have a Matriarch. Well, she never attacks. And I fixed her slash problems, as you can see here. Then we have Leon, and I gave him the Titan Suite because, well, this one makes him a little uh, resistant to everything. Then we have the lost daughter and I try to fix her problems with Pierce resistance, but well, still kind of weak, but nice to have also the Sun Rope that gives her ailments resistance. Uh, the importance of this setup is that you have plenty of buffs to resist ailments, but you still need to build overdrive in stage 6 and in stage 8. So try to enter those two stages with overdrive to guarantee that you will go before the enemies, so that you have high will before they cast their attacks. The strategy worked so well, I will be uh, releasing the video in 2 times speed, but you can reduce by YouTube if you want to see it on normal speed. But that's it, thanks so much for watching, and I see you on the next video. Bye.